In this corner, we have the world's thinnest and arguably sexiest laptop, the HP Spectre. And in this corner, we have the MacBook, the two pound wonder everyone else is trying to beat. Let's see who wins. The HP Spectre is refreshing because it's anything but a MacBook clone. Sure, the piano hinge is blingy and kind of smudgy, but its slick combo of ash black and copper makes the MacBook look kind of boring. When it comes to typing, the Spectre offers more key travel than the MacBook's flat layout. The HP is just more cushy and feels more like a regular keyboard. The MacBook has a sharper and more colorful retina display, while the HP's lower res screen is only 1080p. You can see the difference when watching movie trailers or editing photos. The Spectre has three USB-C ports compared to the MacBook's single lonely port. Plus, two of the HP's support the faster Thunderbolt 3 standard. HP crammed a full Core i processor into the Spectre, while the MacBook makes do with a weaker Core M chip. The results speak for themselves. I just wish the HP was as quiet as the fanless MacBook. Apple isn't out yet. Battery life is one area where the MacBook is the clear winner. The MacBook lasted nine and a half hours on our web surfing test, versus just six for the HP. The MacBook lasts longer and is lighter, but the HP Spectre's faster performance, more ports, and comfier keyboard, as well as its lower price, put it over the top. For the full face-off, go to laptopmag.com.